Hello and welcome viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nube. Uh, we are here on a program uh, inspired to inspire. And today we are visited here by a businessman, an entrepreneur. Uh, his name is Mr. Gift Slamulela. He's going to introduce himself fully. Mr. Slamulela, the floor is yours now. Uh, good day. I'm going to, go to Gift Slamulela, a.k.a. Chief Mukoni Mukoni. Yes, as uh, Mr. Ngure has already said, um, we're in business. It's so just newly uh, established. Uh, we saw that there's a lot of um, stock theft covering the region of Sadat. Now, I've seen that we are trying to cater for the farmers which are losing uh, millions and millions of their, their, their property in the name of livestock. So the only way is to make sure that those animals are being identified how they should have some names which in the form of tags and those tags uh, is what we are doing presently we are selling and printing them uh, so far we have covering uh, three countries which is south africa zimbabwe and botswana okay i have here one of your tags can you briefly tell us what exactly you use to make these texts and why? Yes, this thing are done on a, a material of um, a rubber, which is so durable and it stands any kind of weather, be sun, be coldness, whatsoever, in the water, whatsoever. So this is so durable. These texts are, are numbered in sizes to cater the size of animal, being goat, sheep, donkey and uh, cattle. So this, as you can see, the, as big as it is, they are, is F4, means it's for the cattle. And this is F3, is for the uh, cattle and cows and donkeys, yes. Or now we have got F2, mainly for goats and sheep. Now, then we have got this, which is F1, which is a small one, that's for sheep and goats. Okay, and then, I here have one written zero one. Then there is a name. Is this the name of the person or is the name of the animal? No, it's the name of the person because it have to be named the owner so that whenever they get lost or they are being stolen, they should be known who these animals are. Okay. Then we have Limpopo, which is I hope the province or is it? Yeah, that's the province number four. And then they have with them the phone numbers are they visible let's say a cow is standing they can easily see these numbers definitely they are visible as you can see as we have managed to read and see and ask me or write on what you are saying yes they are visible to a point of more or less to 20 meters out 10 meters away okay and then you say that you are selling these to the sata regions region which countries so far are you selling to um mostly uh, south african but uh, most people who are more interested are Zimbabweans because uh, it seems they are good in agriculture and they are into farming of lately and they are into livestock. Okay. Even Botswana is the second. Okay. And then what advice would you give? There is a farmer out there who wants to protect their livestock from being stolen. Why would they come for this instead of any other traditional way of printing their cattle? Yes, uh, if you can see this is a uh, laser uh, printed. It's no longer that time. It's the time of technology of digitizing things. This is a laser printed. As you can see, this thing is engraved. Uh, it shows that it never removed and for a quicker and uh, more efficient in way of making your animals to be known. That's why it have got a number. The number it tells how many, uh, it, it depends on how many animals you have and uh, the name of the person and then the popo. Mind you, people are now in a more way of trying to, to, to steal. They don't just steal, not being neighbors, but they steal this animal from one province to another. This like for Fariji, this one is Limpopo. Uh, somebody uh, seeing this animal in Northwest will have to start to suspect that why, why in, in, an animal of, from Limpopo comes. And also you should remember there is this foot and mouth. 
Yes. Uh, region from region, they are being prohibited not just to be transferred. It helps even in the people of the Department of Agriculture to determine that these animals have moved from one province, how? And if that's the best way to cater for, to stop this uh, transmission of this disease of food mathematics. Well, it helps also to control the and, disease. And, and what do you use to stick this on the ear of the animal? Yes, these animals have got to, this, this pain, this ear, it has got a pin which is being ins inserted through a machine. Unfortunately, it's, it's not here near me, but there's no way you cannot just stick it. It has to be clipped with a, a, a male pin so that it can, it's going to be durable as long as the cattle still live. Okay, uh, I'm asking this because I want to understand how difficult or easy is it for maybe a cattle rustler to remove this from the animal, how easy is it? Uh, it's easy until when it has been caught and uh, uh, put on rope. But as it goes, it can't be. It's not easy until you get a knife and cut it or cut the the ear of the the animal. Okay, uh, thank you very much. And let's say somebody listening out there wants to get in touch with you so that they can buy some of these things or they want to know more about them. How do they find you? I am a traveler from Africa, Salvanan Africa, Abushin, and I am Africa. I am a traveler from Africa, Salvanan Africa, Abushin, and I am a traveler from Africa. Uh, on 0833267541, I repeat, 0833267541, and on WhatsApp as Gifty Salamulela. Simple. There you have it. You can get in touch with Mr. Salamulela if you want to know more about how effective these uh, clips are, or how effective uh, this branding, uh, this type of branding is. You can get in touch with him via that number so that you can maybe progress further or maybe if you want to develop something more or if you want to give him business because that is the main issue that we want african business to be done by africans with africans among africans i sign off but before i do that may i request you to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it thank you mr slamlela